TIFUI unknowingly gave alcohol to violent alcoholics who were apparently in recovery. I live next door to a youngish family. Middle class. Both about 35. He's a teacher. She's gone back to university. They have a daughter who's just started school. Keep to themselves mostly but friendly and I thought quiet folks. They entertain occasionally. Busy. Average. Hard-working folks. Apparently. About a year ago I was having work done to my flat. The builder was storing materials on my drive in such a way as to narrow the neighbor's access. Slightly. Plus the builder made a lot of construction noise. As a, sorry for the inconvenience, and a thank you for being cool, I left them a bottle of wine at their door with a card. Fast forward to last Saturday night about 1am my son wakes me up to tell me the cops are next door. I never occurred to me it might be a domestic issue. We live next door to a high crime area and prowlers and violent offending is common. I stood at the door and listened to try to determine the safety of my family when the woman of the couple is dragged from the home by the police. She's struggling and screaming at them. This and that and something about domestic violence. She's secured in the back of the police wagon and the officer read her the temporary protection. Order her partner had been granted against her. I was floored. I spoke to some of the other neighbors the next day. One lady's flat shares a wall with these guys and tells me she hears it all. That they drink to excess regularly and then argue. Often violently that it's been going on for years and the woman would often seek refuge in the lady's flat late at night, claiming to be a battered woman, telling her all about it, often sleeping on the lady's couch with a small child. I had absolutely no idea. Apparently they'd stopped drinking for almost a year but started up again about a year ago. I feel bad about the whole thing, especially for the child. TLDR. I unknowingly gave alcohol to violent alcoholics who were apparently in recovery. Recovering alcoholic here. If they were practicing true recovery they would have thanked you for the gift but explained that. They don't drink and returned the bottle to you. Don't carry the weight of their relapse on your shoulders. It isn't your fault. Sad story still. One bottle of wine didn't cause this. They didn't need your bottle of alcohol to get hammered. They sell that stuff everywhere. It's their choice. If they can't refuse alcohol and tell you why they aren't in recovery. They are merely putting off drinking. Alcoholic people are very persistent. Lived with a few. Lost a fiancé to alcoholism, suicide. Father alcoholic. Ex-wife alcoholic. Plenty of experience. Those who truly give up would tell you no thanks and here's why. Because they can face their problems not your fault at all. Very sad to see. Alcohol is too acceptable in society. Look. They already had the problem. Lesson for you though. Never buy people alcohol unless you 100% know they do drink and they don't appear to have a problem. I'm often charged with ordering hampers etc. for staff. Unless I have specifically been told by their manager. Or I am close to them. I steer very clear of alcohol. I'm a former drunk. Two years and five months sober. One bottle of wine doesn't cause complete annihilation and violent tendencies. They have been drinking again for over a year. Thus this has nothing to do with you. They were going to drink regardless of this bottle of wine. Absolutely nothing to feel bad about. One bottle of wine doesn't get alcoholics drunk. It's like nothing to them. You could feel bad if they hadn't had a drink in a year. But you said they've been drinking for the last year. So this has nothing to do with you. You food absolutely nothing here. You very nicely provided a single bottle of wine to neighbors in an act of compassion and loving. Manners. One bottle of red or white did not cause that. You good op. I feel bad for the child. 
Don't come on here, whining, about your foo, s edit. Adding, s. Never give someone alcohol if you don't know them well. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.